to conduct an inquiry in aid of legislation on the implementation of the Agricultural Competitiveness Enhancement Fund, especially its scholarship program created through RA-8178 and further extended by RA-10848 and then or what you call the Agricultural Tarification Act with the end view of determining the efficiency of the lead implementing agency as well as in determining the fund is utilized for intended purposes set by the law. Second is the Senate Resolution Number 484 directing the appropriate Senate Committee to conduct an inquiry in aid of legislation on the Agricultural Enhancement Fund Accounting, Management, and Implementation by the Bureau of Customs, the Department of Agriculture, the Commission on Higher Education, Land Bank of the Philippines, the Department of Budget and Management, and other relevant government agencies. So, I want to... Uh, I want to acknowledge our guests this morning this and our resource person and our resource person. Uh, we have attorney uh, Cesar T. Corpus. Attorney Cesar T. Corpus. Why are they repeating what I'm saying? Why? There's something wrong here. Uh, who's who's defective? <laughs> we wish to acknowledge our guests, Attorney Cesar T. Corpus, Bureau of Customs, Attorney Karen Yambao of the Department of Finance, Miss Cecilia Ranieses of <laughs> uh, Director Josie Cardona, uh, representing Commissioner Ray Leonardo Guerrero of the Bureau of Customs, uh, Miss Emily Tamayo, representing uh, President Cecilia Borromeo of Land Bank of the Philippines, uh, Mr. Dan Buena Agua, uh, representing Chairperson Prospero de Vera III of the Commission on Higher Education, and Director Maribeth de Jesus, representing uh, uh, commis uh, Chairman of the Commission on Audit, Michael G. Aguinaldo, and uh, others who are here from the COA, uh, Dr. Cora Leia de la Cruz, uh, Ms. Uh, Marilyn Miran, Ms. Mar Teresa Ronquillo, Ms. Anneli Ibanez, and Attorney Erwin Lapitan. And of course, Attorney from Erwin Lapitan. Ano na naman niya? And then uh, from the Solicitor General, we have Assistant Solicitor General uh, Bernard Hernandez and uh, State Solicitor uh, uh, Carlos. Um, Senior State Solicitor Cristan Carlos Cristobal. Okay. From student regent, uh, Miss Bex Sintos of the Sultan Kodarat University Student Council, President of the University Student Council, Student Region of the Western Mindanao State University, Ms. Mr. Damian Pahalawan, and Director of Office of Student Services and Welfare, Cagayan State University Stu Student Council, Director Lorraine Tatao, Tau, tau, tau. And from the Tariff Commission, representing the chairperson, Commissioner Marisa Maricosa Paderon, uh, Attorney Giovanni Concepcion, and Miss Diana Hope Castro. And from the Agricultural Competitiveness Enhancement Fund, Attorney Jane C. Bacayo. And then from uh, 
the before uh, Commodore Eduardo Gongona, represented by Attorney Benjamin Felipe Tabio, uh, Attorney Tabio, Tabio. Okay. And then Mr. Saldi uh, Perez and Miss Maria Abigail A. Albaladesio. Okay. From the Bureau of Agricultural Research, Department of Agriculture, Assistant Director Digna Sandoval and Mr. Anthony Obligado. And from the Minimum Access Volume, DA, Executive Director Nicolas Manalo. Okay, so did I not mention anybody? Uh, can you introduce yourself if I did not mention you? So we can go on now with the uh, hearing. Let me give you a background of the resolution subject of this hearing. The Agricultural Competitiveness Enhancement Fund or ASEP was created under RA number 8178 in 1996. It is an ongoing loan and grant program of the National Government for Agriculture and Fisheries, the main objective of which is to increase the productivity and cost of agriculture and fisheries producer through the provision of loans to income generating and competitiveness enhancing pro projects. It was put up as a safety net for farmers and fisher folks affected by trade liberalization policies of the government. Duties collected from the importation of agricultural product under the minimum access volume or MAV as committed by the Philippines to the World Trade Organization funds ASEP. Unfortunately, because of lack of guidelines, full implementation of ASEP was only realized in 2000. In 2008, RA 9496 was enacted. Nag-expire kasi yung ASEP of 1996. It was first enacted in 1996. It expired in 2008. And in 2008, we extended ASEP until 2015. It expired in 2015 and in 2016, I was the author of the ASEP law, which extended the period of implementation of ASEP to 2022. Okay. RA10848, which extends the period of implementation of ASEP until 2022. So, nakatatlong extension na siya, dalawang extension. First is the enactment in 1996, extension in 2008, and extension in 2016. Mandates that ASEP Executive Committee come up with new policies and guidelines necessary for planning, administration, and monitoring of the utilization of the fund. The law provides that 80% of the fund will be used to support the increased productivity of farmers and fisher folks by providing necessary credit to them and their cooperatives. And the implementing agency is Land Bank. Okay. So 80% of Land Bank. Okay. So eight percent. Ano ba to? Ano ba to? Ano ba to? What's happening to this computer? So, abat ganon. We are not the one which is causing the trouble. So please check your ano, your computers, because someone is causing that. And uh, we're not the one. We have been using this computer for a long time. It's not happening. It's only now. So maybe you can unmute your computer so we can go on. Okay. So Land Bank of the Philippines is the, uh, is the biggest implementer of ASEP. 80% of the tariff collected on agricultural products except rice. Kasi yung sa rice pumapunta sa RCEP. All other agricultural tariff ng all other agricultural product will go to ASEP. And uh, yung rice 
tariff will go to RCEP, the Rice Competitiveness Enhancement Fund. Yours is the Agricultural Competitiveness Enhancement Fund. So 80% of the tariff collection will go to land bank and it will be given as loans to farmers. Ang maximum ng loan to farmers will be 1 million each. That's the maximum. And to the cooperative of farmers, 5 million each. Oo. Kasi yung unang uh, implementation of ASEP didn't go to the small farmers and their co-op. Kasi nung reviewin namin, it went to big companies and the minimum that they lent is uh, was... Uh, 15 million and the biggest is 100 million. So if you lend 15 to 100 million, you're not catering to the small farmers and their cooperative. So we made uh, uh, what it is provided for in the law that 1 million is the maximum you can lend to an individual farmer and 5 million is the maximum that the land bank can lend to a cooperative para mas maraming mag-benefit sa ASEF, okay? And 10% of the ASEF is allocated for research and development on agricultural and fishery products of state universities and colleges. And the remaining 10% is allocated for comprehensive and attractive grant in aid program for agriculture, Fish, forestry, fishery, and veterinary medicine education to be implemented with the, with CHED. So, tatlo ang implementing agency nito. Uh, land Bank, uh, CHED for the research, and, uh, and rather state universities and colleges for the research, and CHED for the scholarship. So yun lang ang mga implementing agency. And uh, yung magbibigay ng pera is Bureau of Customs uh, that they will give to the Treasury and then the Treasury will give to the DBM and DBM will give to Land Bank, to CHED, and to state universities and colleges. Parang napakasimple lang nung batas. So, Kaya uh, nagtataka ako na hindi natin nagagawa ang dapat gawin. In its 2017 report, the Commission on Audit recommended that as regards to ASEP, there is a need to exert effort and provide measures in efficiently collecting the loan proceeds from various proponents. This is because of the finding of a very low loan repayment rates and poor loan accessibility performance. Alam mo, nung i-renew namin tong ASEP in 2016, parang naibigay sa... Noon kasi ang nag implement is uh, yung ano, committee ng Congress and DA. Parang binigay sa kanila 13 billion uh, 8 billion na pa loan nila and then nung buksan namin yung loan portfolio ang nagbayad lang 7%. Kaya no i-renew namin ng ASEP yung lahat ng bad loans na yon ni refer namin sa OSG ata yon. Oh, for them to file cases against these borrowers. Kasi 8 billion parang ang nagbayad lang pa is eh 7% of 8 billion which is around uh, less than 500, uh, mga less than a billion. So may bad loans na mahigit na 7 billion. So yun ang ibinigay namin sa uh, uh, government o SG yata yan, yung magpa-file ng cases to this uh, loan. And then uh, from then on, lahat hindi nadadaan do sa committee which during that time I had kasi mahirap kasi yung loan eh, dadaan sa mga politiko <laughs> hindi magandang uh, system yon so binago namin sa batas 
it should go now to land bank and land bank will provide the loans. 80% will go to land bank and land bank will provide the loans to farmers and fisher folks. And 10% will go straight to CHED, to CHED for scholarship. Kasi no, ang dumadaan pa sa DA. Tapos yung pag dumaan sa DA, ayaw ibigay sa CHED. So ang daming scholars na hanggang ngayon hindi pa nakakakuha ng diploma kasi hindi pa nababayaran yung kanilang uh, kanilang tuition fee. Alam mo naman sa school, pag hindi ka nagbayad ng tuition, you cannot go get your diploma. So hanggang ngayon, marami pang sumusulat sa akin na hindi pa nababayaran ng, sa CHED yung kanilang uh, scholarship. Kaya nung kami mag-renew ng batas, mag-re-enact ng batas, tinanggal na namin yung dadaan pa sa DA, straight na sa uh, CHED, para CHED na lang ang kausap. At wala namang reason na hindi bayaran ng CHED yung mga scholarship ng mga students. Oo. And then, yung research, eh, ang mag-a-apply mag, ang mag -a dyan, eh, state universities and colleges at uh, maximum is uh, 5 million per research. Yun ang nilagay namin sa batas. So, my office still received numerous letters of complaints from student beneficiaries under ASEP asking for assistance since they have not yet received the subsidies to cover their tuition, stipend, and book allowances. Okay, So it is against this backdrop that we evaluate whether the fund is truly being used to reach the objective of ASEP that is to protect farmers and fisher folks against unfair trade and pra practices and to increase productivity by providing support and services. To be sure, Section 8A of RA 10848 mandates that the Bureau of Treasury and Bureau of Customs and the Department of Budget and Management to submit within 120 days from 27 July 2015, a complete report on duties collected from the MAV mechanism for the period 2009 to 2015, funds remitted and credited to ASEP under special accounts, and funds released to the Department of Agriculture for the period, the same period respectively. And I guess up to now, they should have an annual report to us how much the Bureau of Customs, how much they collected from ASEF, and then it will be rep and how much they gave to the Bureau of Treasury. And then the Bureau of Treasury should make an annual report on how much they collected from the Bureau of Customs. And the DBM should uh, make a report every year if they gave the program to 80% to land bank, 10% to uh, CHED, and 10% to state universities and colleges. Hindi bali yung 10% ng state universities and colleges because I think they have to apply if they want to make research. And that's the time the money will be released after applying. But yung 80%, it should automatically go to Land Bank of the Philippines and then yung 10% to the state, to the CHED para sa scholarship. Okay, so I haven't received any report since I enacted the law in 2016. Natutuwa, kaya ako biglang naisip na maghiring na ganito kasi yung RCEP, <laughs> eh, half year pa lang nire-report na nila eh. Kasi siguro very important sa atin ang RICE. Kaya palaging nasa dyaryo ko ilan na nakolekto ng RCEP. So, ibig sabihin, gusto ko din na may report din kung ano nakolekta ng ASEP. Oo. Kasi importante din to for other agricultural uh, sector other than rice, di ba? Kasi this is for other agricultural sector aside from rice. Kasi yung rice... Yung tariff on rice will go to 
the Re Rearise Competitiveness Enhancement Fund, and the tariff on agriculture, uh, aside from rice, will go to the Agricultural Competitiveness Enhancement Fund. So in the future, I want to see also a report on ASEF. Hindi lang yung RCEP. Oh. Kaya tayo naghihiri ngayon para maintindihan ng concerned government agencies yung responsibility nila at maraman din ng mga beneficiaries kung ano yung entitlement nila sa ASEP. So, yun ang ating pag-uusapan ngayon. I want to acknowledge additional guests, Dr. Silvet Ginigundo from CHED, Director Robert Dominic Marian, Bureau of Treasury, Yusek Evelyn Lavinia of DA, Yusek Waldo Carpio of DA, Miss Emilia Toquero, Bureau of Treasury, Ermina V. Tepora of PSA, Mr. Ergardo Luzano of Land Bank. Uh, welcome to the committee hearing. Okay. So, I guess uh, when uh, I I would like to ask the senators if they want to make any manifestation. Senator Revilla. Uh, <laughs> Senator Revilla, do you want to make any manifestation? And Senator Aimee Marcos? Wala. So, if they are not going to make any manifestation, anyway, they can talk anytime if they want to. We'll go with the hearing. And of course, the first one we have to call is the... Uh, Bureau of Customs, because they are the first agency that is implementing this law, the collection of ASEP. Good morning, Madam Chair. Uh -huh. uh, before you start, uh, uh, can you introduce <laughs> Yes, Madam. Yes, I'm a director of the financial services. Can you introduce yourself, the one from the Bureau of Customs? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, uh, twice a year, you make a report of the collection of the agricultural tariff aside from rice. You make a report on rice to, to ours, to, with regards to RCEP, but you have to make a report also on the proceeds of the agricultural tariff of ASEP from all the uh, agricultural products tariff on all agricultural products aside from rice dalawa kasi sila sila ASEP and RCEP so i would like to request that you make a report every year on what is the amount that you have collected with regards to uh, tariff on agricultural products aside from rice and what is the tariff you collected out of imported rice para maliwanag lang kung magkano yung uh, fund natin kasi ito naman hindi ito galing sa gobyerno this is coming these are coming from tariff so we start with the bureau of customs yes okay i recognize attorney <laughs> Director uh, Josie Cardona, the uh, Director of uh, Financial Service, representing uh, the Commissioner of the Bureau of Customs Commission. There is something wrong. Yes. Can I see you, Madam? I want to uh, 
or something no sa kanila kanila daw sabi mo kay Reggie ang gulo-gulo ng bureau maintindihan sa asin sa Something wrong with the bureau of customs. Uh, maybe they can fix it first. We'll go to the bureau of treasury. Uh, may can, maybe we can ask the bureau of customs to fix their <laughs> their system first. Then we go to the bureau of treasury. I mean, do you want to make a manifestation? I mean. Amy, Secret Senator Amy, do you want to make any manifestation? Anyway, can you ask the Bureau of Customs to turn off or unmute their system? Because it's there's something wrong. So we will keep quiet. And we recognize the Bureau of Treasury. Maybe their system is better. Good afternoon. Uh, good morning, Madam Chair. Yes. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Uh, uh, good morning, Madam Chair, uh, Honorable Senators. This is uh, Director Robert Dominic E. Mariano. I am from the Research Service of the Bureau of the Treasury. Uh, we received your invitation last week to present mm -hmm. on the status of the uh, Agricultural Competitiveness Enhancement Fund based on our records. Uh, okay, so our presentation is now on the screen. Uh, yes. It will just be a very brief presentation. Uh, in line, ne next slide, please. Uh, in line with the background presented by Senator uh, Villar earlier, the Agricultural Competitiveness Enhancement Fund consisted or consists of all duties collected from the importation of agricultural products under the MAV mechanism. So under the Treasury uh, process, of course, we only record the aggregate collections of the various collecting agencies, such as the BIR and Bureau of Customs. And it is up to the Bureau of Customs, or based on the certification, rather, of the Bureau of the Customs, that we are able to identify and disaggregate the proceeds that will accrue to the ASEF. So yeah. the, the proceeds of the ASEF goes into a special fund uh, or a SAGF, that is special account number 183, and the funds are released uh, based on the provisions of the enacted Republic Act uh, in 20, uh, last 2016. So based on the current uh, law, the ASAF shall be set aside up to 2022, and any remaining balances uh, are not for reversion to the general fund, but instead will continue to be used for the purpose for which it was collected and set aside for. Next slide, please. So based on our collections, uh, these are, of course, subject to reconciliation. And uh, the 2020, so far, the certification that we have received from the Bureau of Customs is for the first quarter. And the total collection or the total balance collection from 2016 up to the first quarter of 2020 for the ASEF amounts to 4.9 billion pesos madam chair and if there is a need for us to send the details i mean the various uh, journal entries uh, uh, comprising each of the years we are able to do so if needed madam chair thank you very much uh, this money was given to you by the bureau of customs what do you do with it uh, as a special account in the general fund madam chair uh, all of the collections of the various collecting agencies goes into, uh, of course, our general fund, which mm -hmm. we use to finance the all the programs and projects of the national now, government. How, how will it go to land bank, CHED, 
and uh, SUCs. How will it go there from your end? I mean, do you give it to the uh, DBM or it goes directly? Um, Madam Chair, it has to be uh, disbursed in line with uh, the authority uh, released by the DBM. Uh, mm -hmm. Only then are we able to disburse from the so, uh, from the SAG F. Oh. So, how many have been disbursed with regards to this four point nine billion, and to whom, or to to what agency was it dispersed? Uh, Madam Chair, do you have now, a record? Uh, do you have a record? Those records, Madam Chair, unfortunately, are not with the department. Uh, are are not with the Bureau of the Treasury. Just like with the other SAG Fs, the oh, so records of utilization are with the concerned implementing agencies. No, no, but it cannot be disbursed to them without authority of DBM. So we ask the DBM. Yes, Madam Chair, because uh, when we disburse, but you have uh, no record on how many have been disbursed by DBM and how many, how much is still with you? How how much was disbursed by DBM and how much is still with you? You have no record. Uh, we have no records on the disbursement, but we, uh, the one that I present right now, the four point nine billion, yeah, is but, total uh, collection. Yeah, total collection. But siempre dini disburse nyo yan. Ilan na lang yung balance para malaman namin kung ilan na na disburse. Uh, Madam Chair, for that we will have to reconcile, I guess, with the uh, disbursement records of the DBM. Yeah, yeah. You have to. Implementing you have to. I uh, know. You have to report to me, so I will know how much is with you and how much has been disbursed, so I can ask the agencies to which it was disbursed how they used it, diba? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma because we, we, this we is can, an uh, oversight uh, no, function of our of my committee that I made sure that the ASEF collection on ASEF is there. It was disbursed to certain uh, implementing agencies and how much is still with the treasury that was not disbursed. It's it's uh, what I want to see. Uh, so can you give me a report on how much was disbursed? Uh, as provide as uh, authorized by DBM and to whom it was dispersed. Can you give me that report? Yeah. Okay, ma yes, Madam Chair, we can request yeah, that data yeah, and I reconcile want it with the record. report on that or bi yearly para makita naman namin kung saan napunta yung pera at nasaan ang pera. Kasi we cannot ask the agencies if we do not know what they have to report on, di ba? Uh -huh. So, yes, sana by yearly may report tayo how much was collected, how much was disbursed, ano ang balance. So, we will know. So that, uh, para katulad nun, bigay ng bigay ang, ang gobyerno sa land bank, eh marami na rin pala kayo nabigay sa land bank, di ba? Kasi 80% of that should go to land bank. Alimbawa, ang collection is 5 billion, Four billion will go to land bank. I remember before we enacted the uh, reenacted this law, there is already a four billion. Kasi ang natira no ane eh, thirteen billion minus five, ay uh, minus eight yung pinautang nila five billion. So when we enacted reenacted this law, we gave four billion to land bank, one billion to SUC, and one billion to to Ched. Now you said that from that time on hanggang ngayon you collected another 5 billion. So 10 billion na yung i-account nila of what we have given them, di ba? Okay. So uh can you make that report? Okay. Uh, uh yes, can, sure. can we ask you to make that report? And so we transfer to the implementing agency. The first implementing agency is Land Bank. We know we want to know how much have been turned over to them and kanino nila pinautang. Uh, we will now call on the land bank. Good morning, Madam Chair. To the Honorable Senators, may I am Emily Tamayo of Land Bank. May I yeah. present in behalf of our institution the program status of ASEF. Under the old ASEF, Land Bank functions as the disbursing agency of the DA for these funds. Mm -hmm. With the new ASEF, the bank administers 80% of the funds for credit and simultaneously take charge in lending these funds to eligible borrowers. Next slide, please. Based on our records under the old ASEF, 
Land Bank received a total of 6 billion representing funds received from the DA from December 2020 to July 2010 of 4.9 billion. And we have collected lo in loans 1.2 billion. Why do you return it to DA? Um, Ma'am, uh, the DA advised us, this is for the old ASF, Ma'am. We got uh, advice from the DA that, it, that we will have to return this to them. Can you tell them, uh, can you tell me how much was returned to them and how, what did they do with it? Kasi hindi part yan ng budget eh. So para malaman namin kung ano ginawa ni Let's Do Sa Pera. Yung return to DA, I didn't know that you are returning to DA. So I want DA. Uh, may mga DA dito, di ba? You want, give me a report on the money that was returned to DA. Uh, Okay, so you have a remaining uh, loan releases and you have 146 million, okay. Yes, so, ma'am. The description of the fund in, te in terms of borrowers are 34 fully paid accounts. May we update our records, ma'am? The current is supposed to be 22 borrowers and the past due is 227 borrowers or a total of 283 borrowers. So this what did you do? What with what did you do with the past due? Uh ma'am, the outstanding balance of uh, the old ASF is 3.26 billion, and it is the DA, ma'am, uh, uh, based on the old ASF that's administering the past due accounts. No, when we reenacted the law, we said that the department, some a Department of Justice or OSG will take care of this. Yes, ma'am. Sino ba yung na, ano? Under the law, there is a provision there that the OSG ba yun? Uh, Magta-take over in collecting this past due. Kasi itong past due na to, laki-laki. Tinan mo yes, ang ano mo, if you will look, 289, 230 ang past due. How many percent is 230 of 289? That is 93.33% past due rate. That's why we reenacted this, when we reenacted this bill, we because it was the DA and the committee sa, sa, uh, sa Congress ang namimigay ng loan and 90% are past due. So that means uh, hindi nabigay ang loan ng maganda and then ang nakakatawa pa, minimum loan noon 15 million, ang maximum is 100 million. When you get 15 to 100 million loan, you're not giving to farmers or cooperatives. You are going giving to private rich individuals. Tapos to make it worse, hindi sila nagbabayad. So that's why we, when we reenacted ASEP, we changed all of this. All the loans will be given to uh, land bank. Diba? The authority to give out loans will be given to land bank. Uh, para, kasi ayaw na namin. Ako nga, ako ang chairman noon nung nagbibigay ng loan. Ayoko. Kasi... <laughs> That's a great responsibility. We are in, not in the business of giving out loans. And I want I don't want a past due loan na 90%. Uh, medyo nakakahiya naman yan. So from then on, from this is uh, the old ASEP. Now you make a report on the new ASEP. Yes, ma'am. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Uh, Okay, thank you very much. Under the new ASEF, Land Bank received a total of 4.16 billion in program funds, 1.28 uh -huh. billion in June 2018, and 2.88 billion in January and June of this year. As of July 31, 2020. So all accounted for 80 percent of 4.9 billion. Binigay sa inyo, tama ba yon? If you, they said that the collection of ASEF from 2016 to 20, uh, 2020 is 4.9 billion. If you take 80% of that, uh, how much is that? Is that the amount given you? 80% of 4.9? This um, times, times 9 is 72. Okay, 7, 8 times 4. So, oh, tama. Mas malaki pa, di ba? About 85%, ma'am. Oh. So, bakit ganun? Hindi nagtali. <laughs> can Baka you ba may other it? funds pa po? Can you make it tally? Ha? 
Yes, ma'am. We will refer to the DA because it's the DA. Uh, but but, but under the new ASEP, it will not pass through DA. Um, I'm it will go direct to you from Bureau of Treasury. Wala nang dadaan sa DA kasi pag dumadaan sa DA, lalong gumugulo. That's the intent of the law. And I, I don't understand why it's being transferred by DA. It should not pass through DA. Kaya nga pumayag na hindi na nagtanong si, si Sir Chusmenya dyan eh. Kasi galit na galit siya sa DA nun eh. So sabi niya sa akin, basahin ko yung mga nag uh, saan napunta yung mga loans eh. Say, so, na natin basahin, binago na natin. So uh, my understanding is that from the Bureau of Treasury, it will go straight to you. It will not pass through DA. That's the intent of the law. I wrote the law. Why is it coming from DA? Can you answer that? So, Madam Chair, can we refer that to the DA because we're getting... Yeah, the I'm asking DA to answer that and mm -hmm. uh, the Bureau of Treasury. It should not pass through DA. That's the problem with the old ASEP. It's passing through DA, kaya nagkakagulo. Pati yung, ano, yung, yung, uh, ano tawag dito? Yung scholarship, kaya hindi mabayaran, dumaan sa DA, ay bigay ng DA sa CHED. So I'm asking now, because that is really the intent of the law. From the Bureau of Treasury, it should go to Land Bank, to CHED, and to SUCs. It will never pass through DA. That is the intent of the law. Can you answer that, uh, Bureau of Treasury and DA? Uh, good morning, Poma. Yeah, this is Lucas. May we call on the Bureau of Treasury again? Bureau of Treasury. Hello, Madam Chair. Yes. Yes. Um, regarding, ma'am, dun sa, uh, what you call this, uh, in your query regarding why it goes to DA. Uh, it was we, never uh, the intent of the law. That was the defect of old ASAP. It's passing through DA. So when we wrote the law, walang dadaan sa DA. Kasi si Senator Osmeña nun, ayaw niya pumayag. Hindi niya, hindi siya titigil ng interpolation. Kasi nawala yung pera do sa DA. Um, that uh, bad pass due loan na 90%, it passed through DA. DA ang nag naglabas nun eh. Yes. Um, Madam Chair, not to deflect the question, but perhaps that can uh, indeed be answered by DBM and DA since the Treasury only releases the funds. Oh, in you better, uh, I'm asking them. I'm asking them. It should start from you because you are the one releasing. I'm telling you. That is the intent of the law. It should not pass through DA. So I'm telling you now that if they ask you to resist to to release it through DA, you don't do that because you are not following the intent of the law. I'm telling you. So we can we ask now DBM and DA to answer that? Uh, can we ask DBM who is the representative of DBM? Hi, good morning. Yes. Mom, I'm I'm Lloyd Dewey from DBM, Division Chief yes. in Charge of the DEA set. Yes. Uh, as far as DA is concerned, uh, the collections, Mom, I will just start from the collection we are receiving based on the Bureau of Treasury. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, ma'am. I will begin with the status. No, I for status. They have collected 4.9 billion. I'm asking you why you are transferring the funds to DA when it should be transferred to the land bank. No, ma'am. Uh, because, ma'am, uh, the, the collections were prior years, pertaining to prior years. No, no. They accounted uh, They accounted 4.9 billion, and 4 billion is almost 80% of 4.9 billion. Ma'am, as and far as... Okay. Mom, as far as we are concerned, the process is has to be like no, this. No, no, the, no, no, no. I wrote the law. Yes, ma'am. We know I that, I wrote the law. And yes, all the problems that came with ASEP because it was given to DA. That's why when we re re reenacted the law, 
we really specified that it should go to land bank, not through yes. DA. Alam mo yes. ba, na yung old ASEP, sinabi na nga 90% are bad loans. Yes. Dahil ang nag-implement DA. That's why when we reenacted the law, inalis namin sa DA, dinala namin sa land bank. Otherwise, hindi pa payag si Senator Osmeña na ipasaya ang galit na galit siya doon sa nangyari na nawala yung 90% sa DA. Yes, ma'am. Oh, bakit sasabihin mo ngayon it should be that way? I wrote the law. Ma'am, because uh, the the basis of our collection... Well, you change that. You tell Wendell yes, Abitado to change that because that yes, is the intent of the law. That it should go direct to land bank. It should not pass through DA. Yes. Kaya nga nagtataka ako, nag, nag, uh, nagre-report dito ang DA na dumaan daw sa kanila. Walang gano'n. Walang gano'n, Iha. That Mas is not the intent of the law. The collection prior to the 2016. I may be that, but that is very yes, little. 90% na ang, ano, ang the, loans eh. But when we, I'm talking about the one from 2016 to 2020. Yes, no, Nagaling sa Bureau of Treasury. Sabi ng Bureau of Treasury, binibigay daw nila sa DA kasi yun ang instruction nyo. Well, I'm telling you that's wrong. Yes. And you better tell that to your, ano, to your, uh, kay Wendell Abisado, na that's wrong. That is not the intent of the law. It should go direct, 80% should go direct to land bank. 10% should go direct to CHED. And 10% should go to SUC if they apply for research, not more than 5 million each. Naintindihan mo yun, Iha? Yes po, ma'am. Oh, kaya nga. I'm but telling you, that's I'm wrong. I'm trying to say, ma'am, uh, because that were previous collections. No, I cannot, I cannot, I, I cannot, uh, eh, this is new ASEP, eh. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Alagay dyan, as of July 31, 2020, new ASEP. 4.1 billion funds transferred by DA to land bank. Walang dadaan sa DA. It should come from Bureau of Treasury to land bank. Yes, ma'am. We understand eh, Report nyo yan eh. Report nyo yan eh. Nakalagay dyan on new ASEP. We're not talking of the old ASEP. That's dead. Ma'am, I'm just referring to kaya, the... Kaya, 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 no, boy. Kaya hindi makolekta yung old ASEP. Yung mga umutang doon, sabi nila sa amin, they paid 30%. Oh. So they don't want to pay the loan anymore because they paid 30% to the one who gave them the loan. Kaya that's dead. That's why we reformed ASEP. Meron pa namang loan portfolio na 7% lang ang nagbabayad? Ano sa, tinanong ko sila eh. Eh kasi daw naglagay sila ng 30%. Ako, hindi na ako kumibunong kasi that's water under the bridge. Oh, pero ngayon, na pinagpipilitan nyo na idadaan sa DA, I'm telling you, 8 billion we lost to the old ASEP because the, law, the, 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 the borrowers did not pay. And we, when we asked them, why didn't you pay? Why don't you pay? Sabi niya, naglagay sila ng 30% eh. Okay. Kaya, nung nire-write namin ng law, the funds from the Bureau of Treasury should go straight to land bank. Bakit niyo bibigay sa DA? Eh, doon na nga may problema eh. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Kaya tayo yung nag-hearing ngayon, Iha. Yung mga yes, binigyan ng ng binigyan ng ano, sulat ng sulat sa akin, yung mga batang binigyan ng scholarship, hindi binigay ng DA sa CHED. So yung CHED, dahil walang bayad yung tuition, ayaw ngayon ibigay yung diploma ng mga bata. Naintindihan nyo? Di ba nakaka, nakakalungkot yon Na hindi yan makuha ng mga bata yung diploma nila kasi hindi binayaran yung tuition nila ng DA na sa CHED. Hindi lang yung pinautang eh nawala, pati yung tuition ng mga bata ayaw nila ibigay. Kaya yung binago eh. Ako sa mulat niyan eh. Tapos galit na galit si Senator Serge Usmeña. Sabi ko, huwag ka na magalit, ni-reform na natin. 
This is a new life sa ASF. Tapos sasabihin mo sa akin, ibibigay mo na naman sa DA? Kaya hindi ba nakalagay doon na yung 80% will go to land bank, 10% will go to CHED, 10% will go to SUC, para matigil na nga yun. Ba't ko ginawa yun? Ako head nung committee ng DA na magbibigay ng loob, ginibap ko kasi hindi tama. Kung ako'y mahilig sa power, hindi ko igigibap yun. Pero ginibap ko kasi mali. Ah. So that, that's why we're having this hearing. Hanggang ngayon, tumataw, sumusulat pa yung mga bata na hanggang ngayon, di nababayaran ng tuition nila. <laughs> My God. Sobra naman yan. <laughs> Sobra naman yan. Kaya sabihin mo kay DM Secretary Wendell Abisado, ang intent of the law is the money from the Bureau of Treasury will go straight to land bank. It will not yes, go to DA. The money will go straight to CHED. And the money will go to straight to SUC. Walang dadaan sa DA. Because DA lost the money. Yes, ma'am. We will do the uh, proper coordination with the BTR and also we will... Uh, Consult COA on this because this will require adjustment from prior years. But that is the law. Okay. Is the law. Yes, ma'am. We will. Kasi do minsan something. yung sumusulat kami ng law, ang problema sa inyo, gumagawa kayo ng, kaya ako, very specific na ako sa law. Kasi gumagawa kayo ng ano, implement IRR na nawawala yung spirit of the law according to what you want. Di ba yan? Kaya ngayon, kung sumulat ako ng law, very definite. Tingnan mo yung RCEP, very definite yun. Kung kanino pupunta. Oh, yeah. Huwag silang magre-reklamo doon kasi pumas yun sa Senate. Na-justify yun. Like for example, yung RCEP, pupunta diretso sa Filmec at Filrice. Yun ang gusto ng Senado. Kasi, pag pumunta sa DA, pinagtuturoan ka sa DA kung saan nasa ng pera. Samantalang kung diretso sa Filmec at Filrice, yung Filmec at Filrice lang ang kausap namin pag nawawala pera. Kaya kami, kung sumulat ng batas, specific na kami. Kasi kayo, pag gagawa kayo ng IRR, binabago niyo yung batas eh. According to what you want eh. Ito ang linaw-linaw nito. Ba't nabago na naman to? May reason yan, kaya ginawa namin yan. Nawala yung 8 billion. Nawala yung 8 billion. Tinan mo ang report. 90% lang ang, ang bad loans. So, sinabi sa akin talaga yun. Naglagay sila ng 30%. I don't know if it's true or not, but the performance is bad. So we change. Oh, I cannot, ano yan, I cannot, I'm not, I'm not very keen on investigating. Bahala na yung iba dyan. Eh, nirefer na namin yan sa, ano eh, sa OSG eh, na habuli nila yan eh. Di bahala sila mag-investigate. But ako, yung new ASAP should be different. So it will not happen again. Now you're making it happen again. Baguhin nyo yan. Kasi mali yan. That's not the intent of the law. If that is what we will provide in the law, it will not pass. Because galit na galit yung mga senador. Boy, nawala yung 8 billion. Kaya ako lang naipasa yan. Naaawa ako sa farmer. And at the same time, in-explain ko sa kanila na binago naman. Hindi na yun dati. It will never happen again. But what you're doing, you're making it happen again. Naintindihan nyo? You understand? Yes, ma'am. We will oh, do something. Maybe we'll hear from DA. Let's hear from DA what they have to say. Madam Chair, si Amy po, hihirit lang po ako. Hihirit lang po. Yes. 
Madam Chair, uh, I'm here to lend support and uh, corroborate the uh, complaints that we have received in our office, just like uh, the good Chairwoman uh, Villar. Mm -hmm. That uh, you mga scholar po natin, while we are trying to encourage young people to go into farming, we are not releasing the sums they require for their scholarships. Alam na alam natin na kulang na kulang yung agricultural uh, graduates sa DA, hindi mafil apan ng DAR, kulang na kulang sa crop insurance. Insurance, wala pang agriculturist na maging mau. Eh, in spite of this, nakaharang yung ating uh, uh, pera para sa 10%. Ang liwa-liwanag ng bagong ASEP, 10% po sa CHED. Kung bakit naglalanding sa DA, nagtataka rin po kami. Uh, further, I also... Isa nakinlarify nyo kasi no, ipasa natin ang batas, maliwanag yun. Ang liwa-liwanag po. Kaya nga, ba't po sinatanggap? Sana sinabi nyo sa DBM na direksyo na yan sa CHED. Alam mo, kaya nangyari yun. Inimbestigahan ko yan eh. Sorry. Hindi nyo pinoprocess sa CHED yung mga pere. Hindi nyo dinadala sa CHED eh. Hindi na lang ako kumibu dun eh. Kaya lang, bakit ganun na naman? Hindi nyo pinoprocess eh. Hindi kayo naaawa doon sa mga bata na hindi gagraduate pag hindi binayaran ng tuition. Oh. Ayaw nyo yung process eh. Pinalo up ko na yan sa inyo eh. Ayaw nyo i-process eh. Para pag nakarating sa inyo pera, ayaw nyo na ibigay. Kaya hindi na dapat dumaan sa inyo ang pera. Dapat idiretso na sa chat. Para wala nang processing, di ba? Bayad na agad. O, ba't nyo tinatanggap? Ba't nyo tinatanggap? Di sana sinabi nyo sa DBM, the intent of the law, that it should go direct to land bank, it should go direct to, to CHED, and it should go direct to SUCs. Wala nang dadaan sa DA. Pag dumadaan kasi si DA, tinadagdagan pa natin yung, ano eh, yung bureaucracy. <laughs> yung bureaucracy na napakahirap. Actually, ang mga budget nyo naman ay malalaki. Yung bureaucracy ang sumisira ng budget, kaya hindi na i-implement. <laughs> Eh, matagal na ako sa inyo eh. I've been chairman of the Committee on Agriculture from 2013 to 2020. I know. I know everything. Hindi na lang ako nagsasalita kasi that's water under the bridge. But to do it again this time is another story. <laughs> it's another story. You should stop it. That is the intent of the law. I remember nakiusap ako kay Senator Serio Osmeña na wag na siyang wag niya nang pigilin ng reenactment of ASEP because this is good for our farmers and fisher folks. Sabi ko pagpasensya mo yung nangyari before. Hindi na mangyayari uli iyon. Ba't nangyayari uli? Yes, Madam Chair. Itatanong ko nga kasi yung ASAP. Uh, Senator Aimee, can we oh. recognize Senator Aimee? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Opo. Um, itatanong ko nga dahil sa napaka-miserable performance na 90% bad loans nga, itatanong ko nga kung angkop pa ba na i-extend yung ASEP. Kasi hanggang 2022 na lang yan, should we consider extending it pa? Or uh, should uh, it be consolidated as recommended by some people na it should be merged with the Agri-Agra na hindi rin nagpe-perform ano ba sa mga pera ng uh, agri culture. So, Alam alam mo, it's uh, submitted to your wisdom, yung agri-agra na they prefer to pay the fine rather than to lend those uh, credit uh, provisions we've made, or yung ASEP na hindi rin nagpe-perform. Uh, hindi na po natin naintindihan masyado ng lahat ng effort ginagawa po ng uh, legislature, pero parang hindi na implement yung nais. Uh, I want to answer the agri-agra. Yung agri-agra, 15% will be for agriculture. And then 10% will be for uh, land reform beneficiaries. Ang hindi nagpe-perform yung agra. Yung agri, okay naman. Out of the 15% na ibibigay nila parang a little less than 14%. Ang very bad ang ano is the agra. Yung sa, yung sa land reform. Kasi siguro yung mga land reform beneficiaries baka hindi nila maisanlayong lupa 
kasi Tama. hindi naman nalipat sa kanila yung lupa eh kasi ang paglipat nila is uh, yung group Grow up. Diba? group, Grow up. group. Pero ngayon, nag-finance ang, uh, I think it's US government or World Bank, nabibigyan na sila ng individual title. May binigay na grant. Ang laki. So that, uh, agra beneficiaries will have their own titles. I don't know how it will work. Pati yun lang ang mali sa agri-agra, yung agra. Not the agri. The agri, they, they were able to lend out 13.5% of the 15%. Yung Agra, they lent out yata 1 to 2 percent of the 10 percent. Yun ang may problema, yung Agra. So if we want to devise, revise the Agri-Agra, it's the Agra. I don't know what we will do so that the money, or we can give it all to Agri instead of Agra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Kasi ako, kaya naman ng ako, Agri. Ako, ang ako, Agra, ako, ang ako, Agra ako, hindi kaya. na yung Agra eh. That's why I'm recommending na i-restructure na po yung AGRA. Kasi talagang hindi nag-work ito. Tapos kung ibibigay ito sa AGRI at uh, I think it will uh, work uh, rationalize sa ASEP. Kasi ang uh -oh. gulo eh. Ngayon, itong ASEP, wala naman problema to. Ang bad loans na 90% is the old ASEP. The new ASEP is okay. Except nagagalit lang ako, ba't dadaan pa sa DA? Eh, according to the law, it should go direct to land bank. Ang may problema yung old ASEP, yung sinasabi nilang past due, it's the old ASEP na 8 billion na 90% ang past due. <laughs> old ASEP yun. Oo. Do you understand? It's the old ASEP. Kaya nga binago namin tong ASEP eh, na hindi na dadaan sa AGRI. Ang nagbigay nung 8 billion past due loans, sa AGRI. Agri yun. Oo. Yun ang nagbigay. Kaya nung ipas namin ng new ASEP, wala nang ano, wala nang agri. Wala nang DA. Diretso na sa land bank. Kasi ang land bank ay sa bank. Hindi sila pwede na paloko-loko. They're under the supervision of the BSP. di ba? Banko yan eh. Eh, tayo dun sa mga department, <laughs> hindi naman tayo lender. I'm so against department giving out loans. We are in, not in the business of giving out loans because we are not banks. Oo. Wala tayong, wala tayong nagre-regulate sa atin that we give out the loans properly. Talaga sinabi yung sa akin eh. Ngayon ko lang nilalabas para to point out that there is a reason why nilipat natin yan sa land bank. Mm -hmm. Kasi sinabi talaga ng mga borrower, kaya ayaw nila magbayad, naglagay sila. So, so I'm telling this to the Bureau of Treasury and the DBM, idiretso nyo sa land bank ang pera. Idiretso nyo doon sa CHED at idiretso nyo doon sa SUCs. Huwag nyo idaan sa DA. DA has its own budget. They they should take care of their own budget. Not this one. Because these are tariff proceeds. So, do we understand each other? Kasi ako, hindi ako agriculturist. Pero finance person ako. <laughs> I know. I know. Kaya lang tumigil ng kai-interpolate si Senator Serios Menya because I assured him that the new ASEF is something, is reformed, na mas better to. Hindi naman may kasalanan yung mga banks, eh. yung policies. Talaga yung AGRA, I mean, hindi pwede yun. Walang mapalon sa AGRA eh. Oh, wala talaga at wala naman silang i-collateralize na, na oh, titulo. Yeah, yeah, that's why. So if you're going to, to reform yung AGRI, tanggalin yung AGRA, dalhin na lang sa AGRI. And if it's too big, you, then we bring it down. Pero yung AGRA talaga, it will not perform. Wala naman problema sa AGRI, yung AGRA ang may problema. So... Uh, Tama po yun. Talagang kailangan i-restructure na yung mga agra loans kasi wala naman nagbabayad. Wala. Mas mahal pa yung mga admin costs ng land bank tsaka ng DAR para dyan. Wala namang naglo-loan din eh. 
Walang naglo-loan din eh sa Agra. <laughs> Mas lalo mo lang naglo-loan. <laughs> Oo. Oo. So, uh, do we understand each other? Can I ask a commitment from the Bureau of Treasury, the DBM, and the DA that the money should go directly to land bank and the uh, SUCs and CHET and not pass through DA anymore? Can you make a manifestation, the three departments, the three agencies? Yes, ma'am. First, the Bureau of Treasury. Yes, Madam Chair, we will do the necessary coordination with the B yeah. with the DBM okay. to rectify this. Oh, let's call on the DBM. You assure me. Yes, ma'am. We will do some. Uh, no, uh, meet. We will conduct meetings with BTR. Uh, if possible, we'd go up because we have to do some adjustments in the books. Yes. And yes, can we ask a commitment from DBDA? Na wag na nilang pakikialaman ng ASEF. DA. Where's the DA? Wala ang DA. Sino ang magsasalita for DA? I'm here. Yeah, okay. You make a commitment. Yeah. Uh, that's what we really wanted. Yes, Pa. Okay. So, I'm assured that we will follow the law. The money from the Bureau of Treasury with regards to the uh, agricultural tariff other than rice will go straight, 80 percent will go straight to land bank, 10 percent will go to Fed, and 10 percent will get the SUCs. Okay, it's that okay. We make that manifestation. Okay, so uh so uh, I, I, I want you to make a report as what the Bureau of Treasury did on uh, what you received. Like uh, I want Land Bank to make a report. I want CHED to make a report. I want SUCs to make a report to me uh, about what they did with the money, the account, the money. And I want to have an idea also of how what happened to the the eight the old ASF. Oh, I don't know. We have to find out who's going to make a report on that. Okay. So yun lang. And then uh, if uh, uh, Senator Amy will make would want to ask question or make manifestation, then you're free to do so, Senator Amy. Sa pat na yung kanilang nga promise na talagang i-release ng diretsyo at hindi na tayo makakatanggap ng saksakan ng daming reklamo sa mga scholar. Oh, yeah. Nagtataka ako that kung 5 billion ang nakorekta nila, 4.9 eh. 10% of that is 500 million. Malaki yun. Diba? Oh, ba na ba't na may reklamo sa atin na hindi makagraduate dahil ay bayaran yung scholarship? Oh, what, what? I cannot understand that. In addition that uh, uh, the government gives 50 billion to SUCs, di ba? 40 billion, something like that every year for free scholarship. And then uh, right now they're passing a law that they will give free scholarship to doctors, di ba? <laughs> oh, uh, Two billion daw yun. Tapos, ang dami, ang dami na tapos yung aming RCEP, Ah, hindi. Sa TESDA pala yun. Yung, yung ipapasa namin Coco Bill, magbibigay din yun na scholarship. So, so, I don't think uh, there should be any problem. So, we will suspend the public hearing, but I want to read all your report, and then we will resume the public hearing after all the report has been in. Okay? So, we can review. I have time to review your report. And we will, uh, no, we will just suspend the public hearing. Okay. Thank you very much for coming, and I hope you understand uh, the agricultural competitiveness enhancement plan, what it meant to do, and what was the uh, intention of ASEF. Oh, so thank you very much. Maraming salamat sa pag nyo, and I hope that we will be able to implement the ASEF properly after this. Maraming salamat. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. Aimee, kumusta ka? <laughs> Mabuti, andito sa Ilocos. Nag-aalaga po. May, may ikalawang upo na po ako. 
Ah, nanganak na. Oh, oh ano, babae, lalaki? Lalaki po, lalaki po. Yung una, babae, di ba? Opo, ngayon lalaki yung, na. Kaya yung, super lola na po. Yung girlfriend ni Tristan, yung babae. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> love na love si Tristan kasi he does not talk. I love him. <laughs> Sige. Uh, we'll see you. We'll see you thank when you it's safer. Oh, thank you for thank attending you the hearing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.